What's good everybody? Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you how to draw some shoes in proportion. So I already drew the legs here and now I'm going to show you how to draw the shoes. I'm going to draw one in one position and the other, this is how I regular, this is how I normally draw shoes and then I'm going to draw another one from a worm's eye view down here. So let's get started. So first thing you want to, first thing you're going to want to do is you want to map out your uh, perspective line so you can find the true middle of it. And then once you do that, you can start making the wedge because the foot is mainly a wedge. So you want to map out the shape of that. When you make the dimensions of the wedge, you can start making the heel. And that's where uh, a big semicircle shape comes in. So we're going to make that shape. And then once you make the semicircle shape, you're going to come up here where it is, um, where you made that other line to make the wedge right here. And you want to come up and connect it to the ankle. Okay. And then we can come back to the back of the shoe. We can come down here where the heel is. And then we can start to make sort of a curve coming downwards towards the bottom of the heel. Not the heel, to this uh, semicircle shape we just made. Okay, now that we got the basic shapes in place, we're going to leave this line here. And then we're going to draw another line coming sort of, um, it's like almost close to it. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. Because we're seeing most of the middle of the of the shoe. Okay, and once we do that, we can draw the top of the shoe, which is kind of like a curvy line. And then if you want on the bottom, we can make like, um, I don't know what it's called, but like the bottom part of the shoe. But that's what I'm going to make. You're basically following the same line we just drew here. And then we're also doing the same thing for the bottom part right here for the uh, semicircle. And there we go. Just erase these uh, guidelines. And these are cartoon shoes, so I don't really bother on adding laces, but you can add a tongue. Because when I'm drawing shoes, they're cartoon shoes, so almost every detail is ne is not necessary. Okay, so we're going to go and do the next one then. This one's going to be sort of like a profile view. So we don't really need to map out the, uh, the true middle of the body. Sorry, the true middle of the leg. Because it's going to be like right along here. And we're not going to see most of that. So we're going to draw it with like a basic shape. Start with the heel, and um, what I like to do is like the, I like to come down, and then I want to come back over with a different curve, and come to, and come to the bottom, and then like we did over here, we're gonna make a curvy line. That's because that's what the uh, that's what the foot is shaped like. Then the same thing down here for the bottom of the shoe. And then for this part, we only have to draw one line. And then if you want, you can also adjust. If it's too big, no big deal. Just go back and adjust some of the lines. And then make sure this line right here connects to um, that connects to the ankle. And then you, for this part, you don't want to make it too sharp because it's not going to stand out. So you want to make it almost as curvy, like so. Okay. And then now we're going to draw the shoe at a, at a worm's eye view. For this part, 
you're only gonna see like the you're gonna see most of the bottom of the shoe and you're not gonna see so much of this part so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with an oval we're gonna find the proportions that we want to see so we're gonna see them the middle of the shoe is gonna be what we're gonna see most okay and then we're gonna map out like uh, like three-fourths of the entire oval which is about right here and then we're gonna go a little bit over top of that and now it's looking almost like a bedroom slipper but it's possible you can go a little bit over we don't want to make it too over but we're gonna end up adjusting anyway so it doesn't really matter now Okay, and then once we've made that oval, I mean not that oval, the uh, semicircle, I'm gonna come up and make sort of a volcano over top like this. Make a curve going up like this. And then we're gonna come back down to the other side of the, we're gonna come down to the other, uh, we're gonna come down to the heel. Okay, and then for and uh, like we did earlier, we added a curve. We don't have to do that here, but it's definitely an option. But I personally don't like doing it when I'm doing it as a worm's eye view. So, gonna make that line, and then if you want, you can add some lines on the bottom of the shoe. And then add a leg, an ankle, and then we're not going to see much of this line here where the laces are going to be, so it's not necessary. And then we are done. So those are how to draw shoes in different proportions. So if you like my video and you found it helpful, give it a like and a comment. And subscribe to my channel for more videos every week. And I'll see you in my next video.